I think it just got too heavy for how thin it is. Pretty cool. How do you put the little things in it? So you heat the glass up and then you join bits of colour inside and it droops and stretches through the glass. They're awesome. I'm going to thicken up a handle so I can hold it properly. It will be used later as well. And what are we making? Just a small swan. Small swan. If all goes well. That's a bit thin. Do the job. going to separate where the head and the body is going to be. The thing you got to remember about this is to make sure one side's always closed or one side's always open. It's going to pop off for us. So that part's going to be its head, that's its, its body. I'm going to pull its neck now. I'll get my excuses out early. I've not done one of these for about two years. It's starting to take shape a little. is getting them even on both sides. That's as much of a wing you're getting. for its eyes. Get it, we will get it to stand. There we go. 
if you look through on a polariscope, you'll see a lot of stress around all the joints where it's been manipulated, so. Where's the polariscope? Over in the corner. All glass, once it's been heated or changed shape, it has a lot of thermal stress. So that's why it needs to go in the oven to get it to its annealing point, which is 560 degrees, and then it cools down very slowly. That just takes all the stress out of it. So if you look through this lens, you can see a lot of blues, purples, yellows. Yeah. Quite a spectrum, to be honest. Yeah, look at that. There's quite a few colours, even from the head. Oh, look at that, right next to the wing. So those are stress points? That's just all stress. So once it's been in the oven and annealed, all that should just look as clear as it does when you're not looking at it on this. A lot of stress. So stress swan. <laughs> nice swan. <laughs> no pun intended. Bethany promise if she ever took the lid off the coffin to reveal the mummy, we would be invited. And guess what? Today it's happening. <laughs>